Hi. Well, here we are in Kirkman Towers. Uh, it's a little untidy. You should have seen it when I moved in. Actually, no, you probably shouldn't have done. But the lockdown's given me the uh, opportunity to tidy things up a little bit. Let's not get too carried away. I'm talking to you today about this book. It's called Tales from Photographic Oceans. It's my book and it's a limited edition, limited to just 300 copies worldwide. It's been signed by me and numbered by me. There you go. Lots of great photos spanning the years 1969 right the way up to 2019. Uh, in fact, right the way up to the most recent tour, which is the Royal Affair Tour, uh, which uh, is coming out as a live album uh, very soon. More details in a separate video about that. What I can tell you is that next year's tour of the UK, which will be featuring Relayer and lots of other, yes, classics, they've been rescheduled and they've just been announced today. So if you go to yesworld.com, you'll find out all about the tour next year and where you can book tickets. And uh, hopefully I'll see quite a few of you on that tour. Right, regarding the book, um, you will find all the details at the end of this clip. What we've got in this clip are lots of images from the book, alongside some audio clips from people like uh, Benoit. Uh, we've also got clips from Trevor Horn and Oliver. And I hope you enjoy listening to some of these clips because some of them are sort of really uh, interesting clips where they're talking about specific things. And uh, Trevor's talking about the first time he got into Yes. Uh, which was by the Yes album. I would imagine he's not alone in that particular thing as well, actually. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the clips, and I also hope you enjoy looking at the photographs. Remember, the order details are at the end of the uh, video that I'm about to show you, and uh, we're doing a shipping next week, so you've got, like, just under a week in order to get your order in. But be quick, because the books are selling fast. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. I remember spending some time on Astral Traveler with Chris uh, and Alan, and I remember helping Chris to remember some parts of it. <laughs> of course, I had spent, because uh, Steve had sent a list of songs that he wanted to do on the tour, and Astral Traveler was part of that, which was everybody thought was a bit awkward, because everybody knows that he didn't record that song, and that Steve doesn't enjoy much playing songs that he didn't record anything from 901 to 5. You know, getting him to play Order of a Lonely Heart was like pulling teeth, you know? I mean, he realized it was important to play it, but he wouldn't play the solo the same way and so forth, so it was a bit awkward that he would offer that, but it was a great idea. It was a bit overwhelming, actually. I must be honest. I sort of knew, in my head, I think I knew that people would be interested in it because it was a period of the band that wasn't represented properly in the studio. And it was a period where Chris was very much one of the driving forces behind it. And I think putting all that together with the fact that it came as a bit of a surprise to everybody seemed to sort of just resonate with people. And yeah, I mean, you know, pretty much the majority of comments are just so, not just nice, but phenomenally positive. It was a bit overwhelming. And of course I bought the Yes album and I was totally hooked. I mean, the bass part, you know, I'd never heard a bass sound like mm -hmm. that before. On Starship Trooper, I, play, I wore the record out. So from then on, I was a fan. I bought the earlier albums, and me and my, I went to see them in 75, the Yesterdays Tour in Leicester. And they were great. I remember standing up at the end of A New and I, because it, it reached such a climax, you know? And in a way, the only thing I'd seen, seen like that it was Pink Floyd, and they were like nobody else, you know? And yes, kind of like nobody else. You couldn't really categorize them.